doing here? Okay, well, I'm back uh, messing with OBS Studio, trying to fix this crashing again uh, for a little while anyway. Um, I just remembered that I've got a bunch of uh, screenshots I just took in here. Let's just go ahead and close them because I got that's a mixture of screenshots. It, it eases up to me resources. So I'm going, I imported a, a uh, scene collection because this one. Okay, let me start there first, and I'll show this. Oh, get on the desktop. Okay, scene collections. So, now I can't, you know, I had to edit the profiles, so I'll have to show those in screenshots. I had to do that when I'm not recording. But I went, oh, I didn't do that yet. Okay, so I'm on uh, Untitled 2. Untitled is blank. Okay, that was the and I never edited it. I just imported a scene collection which is somewhere deep in my backups evidently because uh, all I had, well, I didn't have any in here. Uh, but anyway, number two is not the same anymore. The, this number two would be, should be back to uh, what I started with today, you know, before I started fixing things. And then these are the progressions of my changes. So really what I'm using is five. So I'm going to, but uh, I want to import well, maybe I'll just import them all. If I need to import something else, I'm sure, before I can delete to and import this number two is what, what I'm thinking. Uh, where's my video I'm making? I thought I was recording. I am recording. Oh, it's probably recording to, like, my desktop folder or something. I'm telling where it's recording to. I uh, yep, there it is. It's recording to my home folder, so I need to set that in the settings. See, okay, what I did, I can't show. I'll go in the screenshots and show what I did. That's all right, just as long as I know that it's working. Okay, picture. So let's go into the pictures. Now this is going to be in reverse, but I guess it, uh, it may be confusing. Okay, I tried to uh, start a stream. The last thing I did before this video, and it crashed. Uh, OBS gone. There's where I was start starting the stream. Uh, it was running, uh, you know, before then. Um, I guess oh, that's exiting. I, I I changed my settings and I exited OBS. Um, it's this is confusing me. I'm gonna go back until I get to. Okay. There we go. <coughs> um. Here's in the right order now. Okay, so I start, uh, tried to start streaming, and it, uh, this, and it crashed. Confirmed that it crashed. That was what I did before I even started editing settings. And then, um, I decided I would, uh, remove the profile. Oh, it's skipping some of my... Skipping some of my screenshots. Damn you, you're driving me crazy. That's what I was talking about, this viewer. Sometimes it seems to do great, and other times, I don't know why, because I've seen it all day today, show my, almost, you know, everything in order. 22.36.04. 22.36.04. Now, it was skipping those, the ones that are named Workspace. So I'm going to open with... Wind view. It will go in the order of the dates, just like I want it to. <coughs> Move it to workspace left. Leave it open <coughs> until we get done. But see, now it's not responding. Until it gets completely up and running, it will do that. Now, uh, let's see. Yeah, and I can't go through the screenshots yet. That's why I don't use it on videos especially. I just don't use it unless I really need to go in the order I want, you know. And this uh, order of taken, not file names or anything else, you know, in the in the taken into consideration. But I'm hit. I use my right and left arrow keys, and it, oh, I think it finally moved. I guess I can use that. Well, you can see that hand. That's means it ain't working yet. What's that? I went too many.
I need to quit hitting the arrow keys. It's, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. I'm getting aggravated. Okay, now, yeah. See, it was moving even though we weren't seeing it. Okay, so, um, let me get to full screen so we can see it better. All right, uh, started streaming, crashed. I uh, confirmed that it wasn't running, and then I open it back up, and then I get, by that time, I finally get the message saying it crashed. Um, and basically, that's all that one is. Okay, so then I, I was trying to show, I was trying to find delete, <laughs> but it's actually remove, and I was going to del uh, delete that profile there. Finally, I found it, uh, that it said remove instead. Of, you only got, you know, how, however many seconds before that, screenshot takes on that four or five seconds or whatever while I got it set off. Um, so then it asks you, do you want to remove it? And that gives you the chance to make sure you're removing the one you want. And so uh, then I said, I decided to go ahead and remove them all. They're actually all duplicates. That's what I figured out. With different names. I renamed them. Uh, and so I thought, well, maybe those profiles are all screwed up, you know. And so I went down to that one and left it like that and then I thought wait let's just make a brand new one um, hopefully a clean profile and uh, so what happened though is uh, I should have backed up that profile again I guess all those setting changes I did today well, of course they might not make any difference well they're not uh, huge changes but yeah uh, so what I do know is that yeah I've got a new pro okay so now I have a new profile but I'd already know that it's not saving the file in the right place so then I removed that one um, got I exited it to make sure it saved it and um, well, now I don't know if that's after I started it back up or that's probably after I started it back up okay so um, then I click start streaming yeah that's what it was and it crashed again um, so we're back in it again, and uh, and that's it. Okay, so that's what I did. Uh, and uh, let's see, let's get out of this. Now, I think I'll stay right there, and if the machine's running okay, I'll leave it. Yeah, see, Gwynview was even using, a, it'll use one or two or three percent of the CPU, and you shouldn't see that out of an app like that. You shouldn't see it even registering in CPU usage. How much memory is it using? 15 megabytes that's a lot for a, just a graphics viewer app but for me to show my screenshots it's it's really the best one to show them like this and eh, things are not yeah it's not responding good so let's start closing things down got too many things going so uh, I'll put that up there so anyway yeah okay so here I am I think I'm gonna re import all those you can have I guess as many I was hoping it would live stream would start and I'd be able to show it. I'd be able to. I needed to check on it. I didn't. I didn't start my laptop back up like I usually do. I had everything. I was about ready to quit, but I just thought I gotta try one more thing, <laughs> one more time before I quit. So um, I'm going to leave it. Let's see. Well, I can't import any more profiles, so uh, I can't do anything to the profiles until I shut it down. But I can. Uh, I'm import a theme I'm sure of that so uh, I'm just going to import these themes I wonder if I can do more than one at once oh you can't import a scene collection all by itself it doesn't work the way I thought it did does it so now I'm really confused about all that. What's the point in letting you export them if you can't import them? Maybe you can't be. Maybe you can't do it while you're running. Maybe you can only do it while you're not running. It lets you look at them and switch, but it seems like it would let you. Uh, did I do import or did I do something else? I noticed when you do export, you don't see anything in the folder, and I thought that was odd. At least I, when I do it during the. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no other kind. JSON files is the only kind. Oh, JSON. Maybe it needs to be named JSON. Let's see that. Um, let's just do one of them. First, like I said, I want to import something else. Let's just do number two, number three. 
uh, so that I can, what I was thinking is I'd need to delete this one and uh, the one that's n numbered number two because it's actually number five now. Um, let's go ahead and rename this one to dot Jason. J S O N. Yeah. Which is a uh, common Firefox uses that file format. Okay. So that might be, uh, I don't know. I mean, I just left the default name. I didn't expect it to require me to know the file extension and give it one. That's what you got to do. Okay. Dot J S O N. There we go. Now I guess we'll have that other thing. Uh, it's untitled to two though. Okay. Uh, but that's okay. It's working. Let's see how different it is. Let's see. Okay. Now that one has, that was number five. I thought I had, see, this is, Still got my two uh, my two uh, audio from Cam Two and audio from Cam One, and I had taken that out, you know. Okay, uh, from Cam Stream One. I don't know. Was I on the camera that whole time? I don't even know. I am too tired. Okay, yeah, this one has all those edits that I probably don't want. Um, but the pro now here's what I'm realizing now. Um, but if I do, oh, okay. I need to rename those files then. They all say untitled. I wonder if renaming those files would help. It may not. Uh, let's look at this one. Let's see. Properties. You'd have to look at the file. We can try viewing it, see if there's any text in there. Yeah, okay. It's, you know, I think it's an XML file. It, it, it's, it's kind of a, it's something like that. I don't know. It may just be, you know, it could be not a small file. Well, it wouldn't be. There's a lot of information in there. But uh, let's see. Title. Beginning titles, no sound. Oh, okay. Oh, you could just edit that if you knew how. Untitled 2, name, untitled 2. There we go. That's what we would need to edit if we wanted to have it be, you know. Um, yeah. Pretty sure that we would. Now, I guess they all have that. Um, let's see. Let's view this one. Yep, untitled to. That's why it came out as untitled to do. So you'd have to manually edit that that section there. Um, yeah, and see here's the 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 th seams and everything that's in it. Um, see that gives me a clue though. <coughs> You know, I was seeing that in the logs in my, in my previous, uh, one of my previous videos tonight, today, I was seeing something about um, advanced audio, I think it was. That's actually kind of interesting to look at those and understand how they work. Yeah, there we go. Advanced faults. And that is the uh, my music, one of the either the intro or the exit file that it's playing is what it is. FFmpeg, advanced faults. Now I did turn off advanced mode in the. Actually, I don't know if the, you know that's not talking about the settings though. I don't think turned off advanced in the settings. I don't really know what it would pertain to. X 
XSHN. Oh, that's the screen capture. Okay. I'm not quite sure what kind of file it actually is, but uh, what is that? Audio. Uh, oh, that's an audio input from the VLC stream. Yeah, and all set to always play and all that. <coughs> Aux video audio device. OBS keyboard. Yeah, I don't think I would want to actually get into editing these, but I do think I might want to um, get in there and give it a name, a title. I wonder how you give them a title when you... Uh, Oh, I know how you would do it. Do it in here. Rename. I think if you just renamed it, that would do it. So, okay. This one has no... This one is actually... Uh, I mean, I don't want to... I'm too tired to figure out better names than Untitled. There is one thing, though, I think. Well, I don't know. It, what I was thinking is this one really ought to be number six, and that one really ought to be five. That was five. The one I imported was five. So let's try renaming that one. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's try that. Rename. Yeah, Untitled. Five. It should work. And then this one is really untitled. Yeah, that's easier than, than uh, you know, you could screw something up getting in the, uh, okay, you could screw something up getting in there and hand edit in those things. Okay, but now we can switch to uh, that and now so we have all of our audio inputs back that's why i kept exporting that stuff doesn't mean our stream is fixed or that it's going to work but at least now i can import those things so there's two things i need to do here uh first off let's give these a i'm going to use the multi rename tool here and uh wait let's export this Get on number six, export it. Now it's going to call it six. OBS Studio Profiles. Scene Collections. JSON. I'm not even going to bother to give it the file extension right now. I'll do it when I rename them. I'm title six. I thought that was really strange. Okay, now let's get back on the one we're actually interested in using. Yeah, you can rename them with the with the GUI. That's not a hard thing. Okay, now make sure I'm only selecting that one. And no, we don't want to open it. I clicked it too many times, I guess. Okay, now. <coughs> um. You normally, you know, you just want to rename the names, but uh, there is no extension, so we're going to say convert, capitalize, custom extension. JSON dot JSON. Okay, make sure that's what we wanted. JSON. Okay. And we don't need to, they're all differentiated by the numbers on them, so we don't need to do anything there. <clears throat> now then, two, three, four, five, six. Jason. Okay, now. Um, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm really going forward as to fixing the problem, but at least, um, I'm, um, uh, getting this figured out. Okay, now I've got five and six, and I'm starting to confuse myself again. Let's see. Six really is six. See, it's it doesn't. It's when I the last thing I did was delete. Um, 
last thing I did was delete the uh, audio from cam too because I was thinking maybe there was a problem with that and I was really wanting to just change over to using audio from cam one anyway but I don't now think there is a problem with that and uh, yeah audio from cam one uh, and that's when I say that I'm talking about these you know obviously I'm talking on the SM58 well I mean obviously I have audio right now I'm talking on the SM58 Went through my mixer from my Behringer effects unit to my computer. And that did, did remind me of something that I hadn't even thought about trying. I kept mentioning, it kept popping in my head. I have these two little USB, uh, do I have one up here? I had, had them on my, I had one of them on my desk for the longest time. Maybe I put it in something because it was just sitting there getting dusty, but, uh, Anyway, and I, the problem with USB devices is they end up using up too much resources sometimes on your computer. Ca camera devices do. This, this, uh, for instance, this uh, quad core with four gig of RAM, 2.5 gigahertz uh, Lenovo i5. It's an i5 Intel processor. It can't handle uh, two USB old, you know, low resolution like 380 and. 240 resolution uh, webcam. One of them will do 640 by whatever, and the other one will do 380 by something. Uh, you do them both at the same time, and after about 10 minutes, the machine's getting in trouble. You know, it's getting to lo lose its steam. So, um, uh, adding, uh, you know, that's one reason why I never even wanted, that's one reason why I hesitate to use those USB sound cards, you know. Um, uh, but but the lapel mics I've had I'm on my second one now, and neither one of them, I, you know I got to thinking I tried a, a few adapters on this one, and over here on my Behringer mixer and I'd already tr spent a couple hours on my old mic with every adapter I got, I got quite a few, uh, they would change the pin out you know and the size like from 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch quarter inches what you need over here, and uh, on the mixer. And um, or XLR, but you, you know there's no point in that because it's not not a uh, that those mics are not a low impedance signal. They're a, they're a high impedance signal anyway. So um, anyway, just didn't ever find a pin out, you know find a, a an adapter that would change the pin out to work with the mixer. I got thinking, well, you know, I could make one. Uh, it wouldn't really be that hard. Um, it just takes them a lot of time doing it, you know, and take tedious work with small cables. But uh, I've made my own stuff like that ever since I was a kid, you know. Um, so even before I knew, I, I, I didn't know anything about, you know, high impedance, low impedance, or any of that thing. I just knew these two. What I did was I would plug something into the input on my reel to reel recorder and then. I would try the wires this way, and, it, and if I got a signal, then okay, that's the right way, <laughs> and then I would try it. But the speaker is the same thing, you know, if it works. And uh, I even figured out, uh, I even figured out that you had to pay attention to. Uh, I figured out phase canceling without knowing what it was called uh, when I was a kid, because if you, if you got your cables um, opposed to each other, let's say your speakers. Here you go, you, two cable wires, right? Your two speaker wires. Let's see, like these are, I don't know how to kind of show it, but uh, and besides that, my my camera is now way behind. Uh, and I can't, I, I'm so far behind, uh, you're not seeing it. So anyway, uh, you just need uh, both both speakers wired the same way. And you can figure that out by listening to them. Yeah, now my fingers come up there. I was going to try to show it with my fingers. That's making me mad. Get off of there. All right. Um, yeah, so now I'm having the lag problem. And I had that camera turned off. And it, you know, it wasn't streaming all this time while I was eating and all that stuff. So, but just crazy things go on. Okay, so um, with the Wi-Fi <coughs> streaming <coughs> cameras. <coughs> okay, so uh, <coughs> and I'm off on a sidetrack anyway. Um, what I was trying to do was figure out how to get all those imported so I could switch to them and have them named what they really what they're you know what the names I gave them because the name that's inside the file is all untitled 2 
I realize that now I should uh, have renamed them I, before I expo exported one. Well, each time before I exported, I should have renamed them. But uh, I think the simplest thing to do, okay, I'm on six. Now let's get five. Yeah, now that one's got, uh, you know, cam, uh, cam one and two from the set the setups i mean it's there not and i don't even have the lapel mic it's wrapped up and put away in the bag but it's set up that it's set up for them so if i can okay, i rename my files and i've got i think i'm going to go ahead and try to import them all and then if i just rename them close that in case I, if i don't think i'm going to get to do any more streaming <laughs> okay so um so if I import, I'm on. Five, I've got five and six. So I'll need to import four. Yeah, five and six. Do four. Okay. All right. Now, now it says untitled two. It's not untitled two. It's it's untitled four. So we're going to rename it. Now, that ought to work. And that one is still yet a little... It, it put me in a different place, didn't it? I wonder why it did that. Well, it's got the same thing there. Maybe that happened to be where I was when I... I don't know. It's got... Uh, it's a little different, but it's... See, that's when I had uh, Audio Cam 1 and Desktop instead of... Audio Cam 1 to desktop, like that one is, Audio Cam 2 to desktop. So that's working. See, I'm seeing little differences there, here and there. Now we got 4, 5, and 6. Now let's import. We got 4, 5, and 6, and now we want 3. Okay. And uh, now we'll go over there and... Yeah, and it's it really throws me off, especially being as tired as I am. Now this one is for some reason it threw me back to the beginning titles. Let's get on the desktop again. And it has the same thing. You see, most of these end up having the same thing with slight differences uh, because I was working away at it and figure and also figuring it out how all this worked, you know, as I was going. Um, you have to be real careful. Let's see. Three. I want to rename that one to three. You have to be real careful because you'll overwrite. Well, when you make when you make ch settings changes, it overwrites. You know what you've got. Now, if you export it, if I would have exported it as the same name, you know, it, like say whatever name you're on, like what was on two. When I exported those things, then it would overwrite that file. Well, I mean, it would give you a chance to say no, but... Okay, now we're on three. Now we want to import two, and that's all I have. Okay. And I didn't ever have a one. Yeah, I think it skipped from untitled blank. Well, I didn't... Uh, I was on... I had a blank, the one that was blank, and then I had uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Two. Now, I think that one. Did I just no? Two, three, four, five, six. So now, oh, in the untitled. What I think it did was go from untitled, the one that's blank, the default one that I never edited, to two. It didn't go like untitled one. You know, well, that's that's typical. So now this one. Let's get on. Now, now two is the one that I edited. Actually, it's. Is it? Yeah, audio cam two. Yeah, that's the way I was today when I started. Everything was set to audio cam two. So that is how I expect it to be. Uh, so that's good. That way I can just flip a switch in the program and get back to that. That does work, and it's what I've been using. The only thing that I really want to do, though, is um, change it to... Um, get to number six now okay so what I want to do is change it so that I'm doing audio cam one on it uh, period 
That's what I want. And I actually took out audio cam too. Now I'm talking about as an al- you know, as an alternative to the S and fifty eight. Like if I want to move away from the get I need to get up and move around. I can't go why I am right now. Well actually why I am right now with audio on cam two, I'm wired to the cam two. And uh, I, d- I don't want to take my little stick off of it. Uh, can you see it? No, you can't see it. It's up there on the boom, on the mic stand. But you've seen the stick in the other videos if you've seen any of them. Anyway, it, I've got a stick on it where I can hold it like a, you know, and, and make it real easy to hold it if I want to handheld it without dropping it so easy. You know, it's so easy to drop a phone. So, um, and I knew, and and that's how I mount it. That stick. Uh, is how I mount it on the mic stand. It, it fits just right inside of a clip. Those mic stand, the kind that are spring-loaded clips, not the standard ones. It won't, it'll fall out of one of those other ones. But uh, like this one here, it would fall out of one of these, but there's the kind with the spring clip. And all I had to do is just wrap some rubber bands around it to make it strong enough to hold it, the extra weight of the foam, you know. And um, so I want to leave it like that because I can use it on, the, on there or I can carry it around. So that one that that you're looking at me with, that's the one I'm going to uh, use as the, uh, I'm still not going to put it in the bag like I did camera three, not not right now anyway. I'll still leave it on the tripod, but, uh, and I'll still, so I'll still be tethered to it, but if I get tired of that, then I may go ahead and put it in the bag and then I'll be able to walk, you know, all over the place. I can go off and, and I can go as far as the living room, you know, without any real, any trouble. It'll work in the garage usually. The audio will. This is a video that gets too much. Uh, the signal gets too weak and it gets you know too much lag. <coughs> but um, anyway, um, yeah. So I don't have that set up on anything else. I've got it on the desktop. Let's see where else I have it. I don't have audio there. I've got it on Cam One and desktop. Okay, and it like I can't show it test it because it's not turned on right now uh the mic's not plugged in and it's not turned on in the app i just have the only streaming video right now i could stream audio only audio and video or just video right now i'm streaming only video and camera two yeah it's put in there too i did those in the videos previously because i could show that and camera two is turned off right now so it's black where the camera would be <coughs> camera two and desktop <coughs> Yeah, so I have a lot of work to do to put that back in there. I mean, to get that in there the way I want it. But good thing is, um, now I've got it all set up to where I can switch between all these others, and I'll probably end up taking out um, you know, the ones. You know, I mean, I don't really need. I don't need a bunch. Of, most of those are almost the same. Uh, I think three, four, five, and six are pretty much the same. Let's see. Now four, okay. No, that has uh, camera one, uh, audio one and two, cameras one and two, and then it does two. So those are just slight variations of work along the way there. And then two, oh, it it does not have camera one. Yeah. So let me see. Yeah, it's audio cam two straight through the board. So I'm going to leave it like that because that's the one that actually will function. And I should still have my, let's see if I have my, uh, no, I don't have, okay, so my um, shortcuts, I, uh, I, I might have lost my shortcut. Oh, it's working, yeah. Yeah, my, okay, so the shortcuts are stored in the scene. Selection. I was thinking they're stored in those profiles because you know I did the new profile. I'm running on my new profile. And I think I yeah I think I deleted the other one because I thought it might be the culprit crash in OBS. Yeah. Okay. So um, now let's see. That might be the thing. Okay. Now in six, if I'm in six, let's see if my Muting works on the SM58. Doesn't work on uh, camera one to desktop. So I'm wondering, let's do reach one. Camera five. 
And now I've got both sets of cameras. No meeting there. What am I got? Have to the desktop. Okay. It's muted, but and, and there's no uh, shortcut to you know change it. Okay, now four, four. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's no muting there. And scene B. Let's see. Okay, it works in three. And I don't have it set up in. Uh, let's see if I get on. Yeah, I don't have it set up on that one. I just had it set up on a couple of them. Okay. So. And then two. But, oh, that's back to. Yeah, I don't have camera one in there at all. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Because that will work. As it's been working. I'm too. T um, I was thinking I'd get that all straightened out. Let's see. I'm too tired to remember what I just did. I do remember it worked in three on one or some of the scenes. Uh, I think I want to keep three and six. I think and get rid of uh, you know four and five. But uh, I guess I could do that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get rid of. How do you do that while you're? I'll just leave them all for now. Just put it back on two. Because when I'm less tired, I, I might find that I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm mistaken. Okay, so. Um, I know it won't stream on any of them, though. Every single one of them I have tried over and over to stream. And it just crashes. So this crashing, I still do not know. I do have maybe some clues. Um, let's see, I'm on desktop. I watched some videos while I was eating and read and also did a bunch of more reading. I actually, you know, spent more time than just what it took to eat looking at stuff. I was just going to, uh, you know, go to bed. I wasn't going to start another video, but I decided to. Uh, nothing in the default settings, I don't think. Let's see, stream. What? How did that get like that? Now that would be a, bit, a clue. But why is number two set to Twitch and, and no password or anything? Oh, my profile. I need to import a good profile. Yep. Okay, so the scene collections they handle all the scenes all right now of course it makes sense <clears throat> but okay so maybe it is the profile see i didn't look in there uh i can't show what but i, I i'm pretty sure i guess i could look back at my last thing as i did in here Yeah, I made that new profile, and I believe I ended up, I'm pretty sure I deleted. Yeah, it's skipping a whole bunch of my screenshots. Okay, but I'm pretty sure I deleted, uh, it doesn't show it, but I'm pretty sure I deleted. There it is. You sure you, if I wasn't just flipping through so fast, I deleted that one I deleted everything right down to you know they were they were duplicates anyway or they were showing up they were duplicates with different names I don't know how that really happened because they all were done at different times and everything but they all ended up having the same information in them same settings and everything so this one is kind of a blank profile um, 
And see, I have all these folders. That's what you it does. It saves them. It saves the files. Uh, it's weird how it does that. Let's see. Oh, I gave it. I I made those folders because that. See, it, it sh saves stream encoder service and then basic INI. That's what it saves. And it does it every time. Yeah. And uh, I guess there may be slight differences in the settings. That's how come I, I didn't, well, I guess what I didn't realize is, um, you know, you can't tell so easily which ones are different. And that right there, what is that? That's a scene collection. I'm not sure why it's down there like that. Untitled five. Oh. Huh. I don't know which one that is now. Let's see. 125.19 at 7.59 p.m. 125.19 at 7.50. Ah. Title 5. I've already given them all these names. 6. I'm going to say that one's 5B. <laughs> going to rename that. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Uh, certainly, I'm sure there's some sort of difference in them. But I'm not going to import it. I'm not going to give it the JSON extension either because uh, I'm not sure what I want to do with that. One of these I saved. Uh, there it is. No, that's not it. One of those I saved. Maybe I moved it out of there. Evidently I did. I guess I moved it. I don't see it unless I'm going faster than I can think and read. Um, normally I can do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it was... It was named Untitled 2, but it was an earlier version, I think, of Untitled 2. So, um, I don't know, maybe I just, I don't know what, I, I must have copied, moved it over here as well, I can figure. I thought I left it over there in one of these folders. Oh, I think it's in the, in the big, yeah, it's not in the second folder, it's in the first folder of that. See, some of these don't have the second folder. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Okay. So, um, yeah, I need to import one of these. I don't know which one. They all come up with the same name. They all come up with, uh, I guess it's that right there, Don Primary OBS Profile. Don Primary OBS. Oh, okay. One of them should say Backup. Well, now... Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, some of them don't have the second folder. I don't know how come. I, I think I started realizing they were. Yeah, so we've seen some of them have the one that was probably automatically put on there after it. So anyway, I, I thought I'd be able to go back to one of these older ones and, uh, you know, get a working profile when I started having trouble. What I don't understand... Well, it may not be the profile that's giving the trouble. Um, should have done, I probably should have. Let's see, 118, 19, 12, 31, 18. Okay, that one is the newest one, but it's also, I, I'm pretty sure, the one that I saved into it twice, and it's the one that when I imported it, I have two of profiles of the same name, and you can only select them both. They won't let you do anything else, and that was just aggravating. So maybe the one before it. I tried one of the older ones, didn't make any difference, you know, it didn't make it stream again, I mean, but uh, I saw some settings that I could try changing in the videos I watched, uh, but really, and, and they kept, well, they, they didn't have, but the videos I did see, there was some, some couple of good videos about all the, how the settings work and everything, uh, more detailed than what I know, what I could say, you know. 
out of the top of my head or whatever, but um, but they were just talking about how to tweak it to make it work the best. They were, everybody seems to only want to do this to stream to Twitch to stream their games, <laughs> the, the ones that are making the videos anyway. And uh, other, otherwise, it's just like the basic how to set up an OBS stream, which, you know, way uh, I'm way beyond that. So uh, for, I've been doing it for, I guess I've been doing it since 2016 because I saw my own blog, blog post about it when I discovered it, and it was in 2016. I knew it was two, maybe three years, so I guess it's two years. So, oh, this is 2019. This is not 2018 anymore. So, yeah, I, I forgot the date of it, but now. I didn't I pay much attention, but um, um, there might be some t different things I could try in the settings. That's where I was going when I got sidetracked with these files here. And the other thing is, well, let me right now. I'm going to look because I'm I'm remembering now. Maybe I do have some. Uh, Staying up too late doing this. I knew I shouldn't. Have. I, I start. I kept telling myself, "Well, you shouldn't do this because uh, you're too tired." But then I thought, "Well, I don't want to leave it the way it is, really." And maybe I'll fix it. So maybe this is a good thing. Maybe it's not. But okay, now one nineteen sixteen. Oh six. No one nineteen nineteen. Why is that in there? And not in there. Oh, that might be the one I deleted that had the double. Oh, I bet it is. It's the one that had the double. Yeah, one nineteen nineteen, and that's one eighteen nineteen. So this is the one I, I I did delete. There it is. The other untitled. One nineteen nineteen. That's what I should do. Is give them their dates. Well, that's the same date. I don't know. That, I, well, no, that's a smaller file, though, than the other one. See? I'll leave that like it is. Uh, 1919.2. Yeah, I'm going to rename this one to 1919.19. Uh, That way, that's usually the way I do that stuff. But uh, let's use let's use an underscore so I can kind of tell what's that. That's where the date is. There. <clears throat> now I'm going to copy it over to there in case I that's actually ends up being something I need. That is an older one than this one, so uh, it could actually have something. different that I might want, you know. Actually, it might have. Let's import it and find out. I'm going in circles here, but oh well. Import. Oh, I didn't give it a JSON file extension, did I? Nope. Okay. Uh... This one could be different. I don't know. Let's see. That's on the same date. So I'll just leave it as a B. I'm still gonna, not going to. I don't think that one I want to import because I think it might be a copy. It's the same size. It could be a copy of that. There might be some slight differences, but dot JSON. Oh, let's go ahead and give it a file extension. I may be wrong. What? I don't know what I, don't know what I did there. Rename. I don't know. I hit something on the keyboard wrong. I think that's what I did. Okay, this one I can import, and as long as I... Uh, it's going to be number two, one nineteen nineteen. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and import it. 
because I, don't, I won't know if it's different unless I import it. And it's still going to have that number two name. See, let's see what it looks like. I don't think it's any different. It's the same. Okay. It's the same as that other one. Kind of now it's ringing a bell. Yeah. I'm just using the arrow keys to go through there real fast. So no, it's uh doing all kinds of crazy things now and then. I'm going to rename it. Actually, I don't think there's any really any reason to leave it in there. I'll just keep it, you know, as a backup in the folder there. <clears throat> okay, so, um, unless it was when it worked, but I don't think it was. <laughs> now I'm wondering, okay, what if that was the, when it worked? One that I, I think I exported that after I did all, yeah, exported it after I did all that editing. But we're going to re import it because unless I actually try it, I won't know for sure. Okay, now, you know, whether or not it would might actually work. So let's just go ahead and call it 11919. Okay, now. It looks to me to be the same as the other one with audio from cam two only. 